and welcome back dear ones so I just released the video about the webinars and as it's not enough with the peak of the lion's gate coming up next week and we are in this uh, Syrian, Syrian gateway of this very profound powerful energies and there's so many changes and shifts that is taking place in us and in the collective and so it is also August the 1st and there is a super full moon so it's so amplified right now and I just felt when I finished other video about the webinars I just got this nudge to come on and do uh, do this full moon release with you as well so here I am so the energies of this full moon is is very it's very cleansing as always but even more so uh, because of all these events cosmic events taking place and so what I feel strongly about this full moon is that it is really helping us to release uh, from our mental body emotions long-held emotions and what I see is that it's not just from this lifetime so programs that is triggering emotions in us are now to be released and um, many of them are kept in our uh, in our stomach in our bone and um, it's it is it has been um, during the last week it has been what I can see it's like it's been uh, pulled out from different timelines lifetimes different existence so it's now being um, collected in your energy field ready to be released and sometimes we just need this help for it to to tr be transmuted because we don't want it anywhere in our energy field so for many people this is f very physical it is our cells that is releasing this information and these traumas and these um, lower vibrations so dear ones um, we will work with a white flame and I have had so many downloads and so many healings with the white flame during um, dream dream state the last three nights and uh, so so I will pass this on and just breathe and just feel and tap into what you are ready to release right now what emotions are you ready to release and what is the programs behind those emotions what is the programs the conditions the thoughts, path, thought patterns that is keeping those emotions alive or triggering these emotions in you and that you know that it's not serving you anymore. So just feel into it to it as I send this energy of this white flame to you as I connect to your field so I see that some of these emotions some of the programs are they're really they're not stuck you have done great work so they are really re ready to be released there is no roots there is no cords attached but I still feel that some of them are uh, it brings you a sense of safety it is um, so even though how it plays out in your life is uh, not in your favor 
um, the reason why it's there is because you think or you thought that one time, maybe not even in this lifetime, that it was a way to keep you safe, to give a sense of that you are in control. And that's always um, creates a conflict when we do not want the outcome of how it shows up in our life, but we want the reason we think it is giving us or the intention, why we created them. I hope you understand what I mean. So right now just feel like into if there is a sense of control or sense of a safety mechanism, however it play, plays out for you, that you are ready to release because all those are always false sense of safety. The only the key, thing that keeps us safe is to return to our light, is to return to the freedom within, the peace within. That is our life insurance, that is what is um, sustaining us. That is the opposite of the lower vibrations and the fear of being attacked and attack is the same and it just gives us it just gives us and makes us create those lower vibrational experiences. So just feel into what it means for you and whatever is coming up for you. And I know there's something coming up for you. And see if you right now are able to let go. And what I ask you of really is to relax around this topic, around these energies. Uh, move, th move out of your head. You don't need to figure it out or control it. Just relax right now. And come into a place of stillness and of peace. And surrender. Surrender it up to the divine. Your emotions, situations, circumstances, thought patterns and triggers that doesn't serve you anymore. Eri kurusan eli aria kiar sono shovi kriya nashai te kriya shosushan eli liru sono shai kitushas eli ri kurusan norushum munuru sanke te shaya kriya nar unuru son to shawa ki kurushon Inaraya tashi kurusho soshon eti kurusone shanaya kiriosho munuru santashan e kurusan. It's a return to innocence, it's the return to faith. It is the surrender to a force greater than our programs, than our fear. Than, uh, greater than our defense mechanisms. Lir se kroshanere ke kintero oko suntashanaya kero suncho. And it goes easily, it goes smooth because there is such, we are so blessed with energies right now. It's so perfect divine timing for this to be released. So there's not much you need to do. Parisen kriko ko suntoroshan miliarana kero sunto sushai. And I see this white flame that is spiraling inwards and also um, spiraling out everything that is ready to leave, that you are ready to surrender up. And I see this in your third, high, third eye, clearing your mental body, because it's always... When there are emotions um, arising, it's always have its counterpart in the mental body um, that sustains it and keeps it going and keeps those triggers alive. And at the same time, those emotions keep um, um, confirming those mental programs, the internal dialogue. Synchronous, and 
Nari kente shelur sunnush. Eni liri liya nari kur sunnushaya. Eshantara se krusho onuru sanarashanay. Minu nuru sushu kutushane kusushane kitsi iliyaranana. Iliyara santashanaya kurusho. So there is uh, this um, reconnection with your root chakra, with Mother Earth. To give you another a true sense of safety where you belong and what really is it means to feel safe on earth and they say that you do not sustain yourself you are sustained by and when they say you, they talk about you identified with your lower mind, with your ego self that it needs to um, conquer or get, grab, control, manipulate, work for it. Your only job is to return to the divinity inside, your true self. And that is what just sustains you. That is when you are connected to Source. And you know who you are. And that is your light that sustains you. And our blessing for you to remember light and only light. So let everything right now, everything else that is not light, to go. Nitili tirshin krusasha. Ekiar sanashi kurusu. Muluri, I hear those angel voices singing. Pepiri kushunuluru santa shane kriyanai. Erisu shunurai. Ekurushanai ki kurusunu. Nurushu and angel wings are sweeping clean and clear your field. All your bodies, all your minds. All your expressions and all your existence. Your energy centers clearing. Nurusunulurunu. Kintara sanara kikususus. Ilarana kurusuntus. Kiturus. Relax your body. To really let these energies in and allow them, those energies that you're willing to release, to be released. So be an open book, be receptive and soft. As we just receive in gratitude, as we let go with love. Thank you, dear ones. Thank you.